Hello again. Windy one today, so I'm going to pop the wind blocker on in a sec. Right, I've got a little bit more of a structured walk today than I had yesterday. I know where I'm going, what I'm trying to do. Most importantly, it's curry day, so I want to get some steps in. We're going to begin by heading down through the town and up towards the lighthouse with a few surprises on the way. Oh yes. And less than just a few moments into the walk, I'm going to have to stop in a minute and put the hat on. So my glasses aren't covered in liquid sunshine. <laughs> Noisy scaffolders. But you probably won't hear them because of the uh, wind blocker. Don't worry though, <laughs> you're not missing much. It's a little uh, Jenner's Lifestyle Cafe. People have been saying, why don't you have the uh, menu in the window? They won't put a menu in the window. They will put it on Instagram. Not even on Facebook, I don't think. So it's a big secret what they do there. Anyway, it's up to them, up to them. Certainly had the wind just now walking along here. Pretty hardcore actually. Little Thumberland place, teen hardware. Almost a reverse loop this, isn't it? Almost. That was quite good. I saw an advert on Facebook this morning for the health of wealth. And they said they were doing a toenail cutting. Now I've tried to my toenails done for me before from the foot clinic and the uh, the other one, the other place in Timmouth, but they've always got such a long wait. And um, I tried, I got popped in there then and I got an appointment for Friday. 12 o'clock, lovely. It's not that I can't get down there and do them, I managed pretty well so far, but I've decided with my age now and the fact it is a bit more difficult to bend over. Uh, have someone do it for me, have it done regularly, avoid the ingrowing toenails that I've got already, which I've been dealing with myself. And uh, yeah, makes sense really, doesn't it? Especially with being diabetic, you've got to take care of your feet. It means I'll have a professional once a month looking at my feet. So I'll start that up, it's great. Well, it's a grey day today, as you can see. Windy, not really one for standing around outside. But of course, it's not always like that. Now, Jeffrey sent me some pictures, not from many, 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 many years ago, but from 2015, when he was up here, just at the top of these steps. And there was some sort of, a, a sort of like old cars and bikes and that going on. It was a lovely summer's day, you can tell by the shorts people were wearing. But if we uh, go and sort of line up the first pictures roughly, I say line up because it's not doing it exact, but they've got the tennis courts in the background. Right here. A bunch of mopeds and scooters. So here we go, this is two pictures from Jeffrey. And also at the event, just up here a little bit further, by the ice cream cone, they had a display of minis, which were all parked sort of at an angle. And um, he took a picture of his favourite one, that they would have been around here. Here's his favourite mini. So anyway, I thought to myself, yeah, that looks sort of familiar, that particular set up there with those cars, those minis, etc. Not quite sure exactly why. And it dawned on me that I was at that exact same event in uh, 2015. Now, obviously you can tell by the picture, the weather had changed when I was there, but it was taken from roughly up here. And uh, you can see that down there sort of thing in the distance is where the uh, cars were at an angle in my picture. And here's a picture of me in 2015. Well, I can't say I've changed that much. I've got a few more lines on my forehead, but that's pretty much what I look like then, pretty much what I look like now. 
2015 and I was at the same event. Crazy, crazy. Uh, we're not going all the way along to the very end today. Just going up the side of the lighthouse really. Now not exact, no date, but this didn't used to be a car park, it used to be a little garden area. You can see the picture of the entrance to the gardens, where the entrance to the car park is now. I'm going to look along there. View from many years ago. Here you go. If I can try and work out a date, I'll put it on the photo. But if there's no date on the photo, I just don't know. Sorry. We've got all this table sanded down and prepped for weather work. That must be why they were there tape was there the other day stopping people from coming near them. That makes sense. Rebuild is underway. Lovely. Get my usual shot from my usual place. Probably can't hear it, but that uh, pole is going digga 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 dig. Make an elbow racket with the wind's hitting it and the uh, cable is banging against it. Well, I remember in those pictures the other day where we were looking at Timmouth, visit Timmouth by train. We got to the second picture and it was a view along the promenade from uh, promenade from uh, what I said was the Esplanade Hotel, which used to be over in front of us. I said I'd drop you a picture of it in a few days time. Well, I shall. It's where that car park is now. Um, you'll still see the edge of the building there, the Bella Vista, in the corner. But here we go, this was the Esplanade Hotel for many years. A lot of people don't even know that used to be here, but it, it, it did. It was. Long gone now. Good check in. I think on the uh, door saying I can't get the carriage tonight. Good. Little walk down Regent's Gardens. Don't normally come down this way, don't really need to. It's sort of a cut down between Regent Street that we were on just now and the King's Arms. And it comes out at the end of French Street, which I'm sure you're familiar with by now. But it's a lovely little picturesque back alley. I mean, if you wander down here yourself, you can spend quite a while looking around at all the stuff that's going on up at up the top and just out of sight. Here we are, pop out here. Familiar ground here. We just started a thing on Facebook about the Team Bean, where each day there's like a profile of one of the members of staff, what they like, what they dislike, etc, etc. What made me smile though, in a way, is, um, say, say the girl who works there is called Tina. They refer to her as Tina Bean. And then you've got Susie Bean, and the surname is always Bean. I imagine it's like some sort of nepotism thing where only people called Bean are allowed to work there. But obviously it's to hide the identities, but it makes sense of belonging, doesn't it? So we're going to have a little wander now. Unsurprisingly, at least spray point. Get some steps in. Oh yes. There we go, I've opened the door for a bit pointless to have that, door, that gate closed. Uh, a bit of driftwood still here. I've actually sat down on this little bench, not so much for rest, just to hide away from the wind. Oh, it's a blowy one today again. There's our daffodils. So where's all the trains then? What are you done with them? Are they hiding?
Right, gonna head back into the wind now. Hopefully see some trains. Maybe not. Sorry about that. All these complaints about no trains, they won't last to the one inch there. I'm not ready. Not good enough. Not good enough. Wind, wind, wind. I can hardly hear my podcast over the wind. Unbelievable. That seagull was virtually flying right next to me just now. I looked around and thought, what's that? And it was like level with me for quite a way. So of course, the second I pull out the phone, it accelerates and moves on. Whee! Oh, cross over. Yay! Oh, well, that was worth the walk in the wind anyway. <laughs> And there we go. Well, so much for having a long, long walk because it's curry day, getting the steps in. What a long walk, but I tell you, walking back against that, that uh, wind on the sea wall, that was a workout in itself, really was. So I feel quite oh, exhausted now. Gonna go home, sort stuff out, and um, all good. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, bye.